not entered your heart. When does it enter your heart? When does it enter your heart? What does a mu'min mean? A mu'min is a Muslim, but not every Muslim is a mu'min. When are you a mu'min? When you know that fornication is haram, I withdraw from it. When you know that alcohol is haram, I withdraw from it. When you know that theft is haram, murder is haram, slander is haram, lying is haram, I withdraw from it. This is a mu'min. As the Prophet sallallahu said clearly in a beautiful narration, I swear by Allah Ta'ala, he does not believe. The companions asked, O oh, Prophet of Allah, who does not believe? He said, the one from whose harm his neighbor is not safe. And another occasion he said, the fornicator is not a believer while committing fornication. Nor is the wine drinker a believer while drinking. Nor is the thief a believer while committing theft. Nor is a murderer a believer when committing murder. And we know the many narrations. You cannot truly believe until you love for your brother what you love for yourself. When you love for your brother what you love for yourself, you can be called a mu'min. So if you're hungry at home, and your neighbor who's a Muslim brother of yours or sister uh, is, is hungry and you've eaten with your big belly, after you've had your big meal, and you know your next door neighbor is hungry or your Muslim brother or sister is hungry and you don't aid that person while you're able to aid him, you are not a mu'min. You could be a Muslim, but you are not a mu'min. Because you have not love for your brother what you love for yourself. You have not love for your brother what you love for yourself. And this is iman. This is iman. The third quality. وَالْقَانِتِينَ وَالْقَانِتَاتِ And al kunut is to, is a devout, a humbly devout person, you can say. It means to be always aware of Allah Ta'ala. It means obedience and worship in the most humble way. In other words, you are always humble. You are always aware of Allah Ta'ala. When you eat, when you drink, when you stand, when you sit, when you sleep, when you awaken, when you work, when you play, when you do anything, you know that Allah Ta'ala is there. Thus, you are fully aware that you do not do anything that Allah Ta'ala is not like. Thus, you are a qanit, you are a muhsin. And this is a narration of the great famous hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab, Radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when Jibril asked Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is Ihsan? And what did he reply with? He said, Ihsan is to worship Allah ta'ala as though you see him. Though you do not see him, he sees you. Imagine a person that worships Allah ta'ala in this manner. Now brothers and sisters, can you imagine when you pray, that you worship Allah Ta'ala knowing for certainty that Allah is looking at you now? How would you act? Would you be able to commit fornication? When you know for certainty that Allah is watching you? You believe Allah is watching you? You are aware of this? You are a khanit, a muhsin? Would you commit 